coming to you from Rome. So uh, this week, me and Josh are in Rome. Uh, we, today's Monday, the 21st of May. We're here till Friday. And um, on Wednesday, it's going to be my 21st birthday. So it's not for my birthday, but we just like managed to coincide the dates to fit alongside my birthday. So I'm super excited about that. So um, we had a super early start this morning. Um, we were up at like 4am to come to the airport. So we're absolutely knackered. I had a tiny bit of a delay on the flight, but um, we arrived, um, got our taxi to the hotel, and we didn't realise we couldn't check in, um, so we left our suitcases, but then we had to walk around with all of our hand luggage um, for a couple of hours, so we went round, found a nice little pizza and pasta place, obviously, um, we went and got some margarita pizza, which was like the nicest pizza I've ever had and I think it was just like a re it was really like a really cheap chain place so I'm excited for like the real deal. Um managed to find the Trevi Fountain which is about five minutes from our hotel so that was really really cool. Uh, and then we came back to the hotel um we both had a shower, Josh is just in the shower now um and I'm just about to do my makeup for us to go back out so I'm super excited to see what Rome's like. So I just thought I'd talk you through a couple of bits and bobs that I brought with me, just that are even new or like, I just think they're a good idea, so I just thought I'd show you. So first up are these little sandals, which are from uh, Shoe. Um, they're actually a size 5 and I'm a 4, but they fit so nice. Basically, the were says she wore them like twice, she didn't like them, they didn't fit, so I was, she was going to send them to charity, so I like, I'll have those. So if anyone's looking for some sandals that aren't going to cost me an absolute fortune, try Shoe. So that's that. Um, second thing is um, this is actually one of my birthday presents um, so basically it's my birthday on Wednesday um, but yesterday all my family had like a little garden party and I opened all my presents then because I'm going to be away um, and then we popped down to Josh's mum and dad um, down to their house as well to see them and they gave me my presents and one of them was this Rome City Guide because um, they, they gave me money and stuff but they didn't know what to get me so she said she got me this so that I can like look back and obviously I remember where I spent my 21st but I'm going to have a look through it tonight because it's just got like all the different um, like places that are worth going to see that may be a bit more off the beaten track like so I'm going to have a look through that um, and if anyone knows me um, I am actually obsessed with um, Greek and Roman like history you know like ancient myths and stuff I actually did classics at A-Level so like the, going to look around the Colosseum and like things like that is just like so up my street so I feel like I'm just going to be boring Josh all week with the history but I don't really care so that's that um, another thing this is a book that I've brought to read it's The Couple Next Door I'm really late to the party with this one and um, I think everyone was reading it last year um, but basically my housemate Sam um, uh, was going to take this to the charity shop because she read it and like enjoyed it but wasn't going to read it again um, so I said, she said does anybody want it so I was like yeah I'll take that so I'm going to try reading that and I'll let you know what I think and then um, something else so this is um, a sun cream that I've brought with me so it's by Green People and they're like an organic skincare company so you can see there it's all like vegan, cruelty free etc um, but I actually got sent this um, very nicely by the people that work at Green People and um, because in May it's a national I think it's Sun Week so it's just all about like being aware of like UVA and UVB protection so if anyone's looking for a um, like really natural organic um, sun cream that's like got no scent if you're allergic to fragrance and um, this one might be worth trying so I'm going to review this while I'm here um, but I'm looking forward to trying that in the sun because we haven't had enough of it at home to give it a good trial so it's a lot later now and um, we've been out um, after we'd got ready and um, I wander around, been had some tea, uh, went and had some ice cream and uh, that was really nice, did a bit of shopping and just basically just had a bit of a mooch to see where everything is and I just thought I'd show you, this is a dress that I picked up um, so basically um, every year um, me and, is there six of us? Josh? Like, is this six of it? Well, seven of us that do it for birthdays. Yeah. So there's seven of us, um, and we each put in um, for the other person's birth. So the the seventh person's birthday. Um, so obviously it's my turn this time. So they didn't really know what to get me. So Josh was just like, "You can have this dress as part of your present from all my friends from Unisa. Chi, Billy, Jake, Dan, Sam. If you're watching this, this is the dress that you bought me. So thank you." So yeah, I just thought I'd finish the vlog here. Um, so we're just, it's really early, it's like 9 o'clock, isn't it? 
Hello. Oh. It's like nine o'clock, isn't it? Right, yeah, so ten past nine. Uh, we're absolutely knackered, it feels like it's about one o'clock in the morning. So we're just going to have an early night, we might watch an episode of Stranger Things. And then we are up bright and early for the Coliseum, so I shall see you tomorrow. We're just in the Coliseum uh, on a tour, so we've got my little headphones in and uh, we're about to go underground to see down there. So it's a lot later now, um, we've been out all day, it's about five o'clock, um, we were actually out of the house, well house, hotel, at like um, eight o'clock this morning, yeah, quarter past eight this morning, um, to go on a Coliseum, I can't, I've just tried and failed Coliseum. to say this, Coliseum tour, um, which started at nine, and then we went on a tour all the way around the Coliseum, um, all in the underground section, which only 25 people are allowed in an hour, which I didn't realise, so that was really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she took us around the forum as well and showed us um, a load of the old like ruins uh, of that, so if you've ever been in there, I mean. Um, but that was from my mum and dad um, for my birthday, but I really, really enjoyed that. That was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, very good. And then we went and we got some... Uh, you had a pizza. So what are you doing? <laughs> right, you had a pizza and yeah. I had some pasta. It's never um, Famous. What? So my friends are going to watch it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we had some food uh, and then we just had a bit of a wander around and then it chucked it down with rain. Yeah. Um, so we had to go in Sephora. Yeah, so, oh yeah, we went in Sephora. I'll show you what I bought. We went in two Sephoras. There is four to find, so I'm sure I'll track them down. Um, so we went in there and um, then we went to Hard Rock Cafe. We found that. So we went and they had a milkshake in mm -hmm. there, didn't we? Um, so now we're like really full because we've had the the food earlier and then like a massive milkshake and then we've just been to the Roma shop haven't we um, yeah. and you've got, there was a when sale in when in Rome yeah. gotta get a Roma shirt uh, so we've come back to the hotel because like I said we've been out all day and we're absolutely knackered it's feet are in and we just want a bit of a rest so we're gonna have a bit of a chill we're gonna have, watch an episode of Stranger Things because we're like two episodes away from finishing that uh, whole second series um, and then we're gonna go back out and get some food later but at the minute we're too full and it's mm. just we're just wandering around for the sake of wandering around because we've yeah, we sort of, we've seen like so really much well today. We've always seen the Spanish steps. Yeah. We've like found loads and loads of stuff today. So. Been to Trevi, Trevi Fountain. Trevi again, Fountain we? again. Yeah. So we're just gonna have a chill. So yeah. So oh, and I'll show you what I bought as well. So um, this is what we bought today. Mind the remote. We were just trying to work out how to work the telly. So um, I'll show you what I got from Sephora. It uh, treated myself. Uh, so what I picked up was the um, Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. Um, so it's basically um, just to clean your sponges and your brushes with I suppose because I am awful at cleaning my sponges so I thought and I've been wanting to try it for ages so I'll, I'll let you know what I think of that um, and this is the Pixie Glow Tonic which I've been wanting to try for ages as well so I got a miniature one you know that section in Sephora where uh, everything's like mini size and just really makes you want to but yeah it's miniature what well, it's 100ml so it's like cabin size um, 
So I bought that to try because I've been wanting to for absolutely ages, but the only thing is I don't have any cotton pads with me, so I'll have to wait until I'm home to try it. And then the other thing that I picked up was um, the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. It's, you get a full size and your travel size. So for the full size, it was €30, Euros, but for this, for a full size and a travel size, it was 27 So I was like, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to try it. So um, I want like a bit more of a full full coverage, not full coverage, but like big volume um, mascara. So I picked up that. And then uh, Josh's little haul from the Roma shop. He got... Um, because they had a sale, he got a blue like training top, and he got some shorts as well. They're not to wear together, um, just you know, but they're quite yeah, nice. Obviously. Yeah, so that's what we picked up today while we were shopping. So, morning everybody, it is Wednesday today and it is actually my 21st birthday, so, so uh, we're heading out for breakfast, just thought I'd quickly run you down what we're doing. Um, this is one of my presents, it's got a new phone case from Josh, so very nice, from Skinny Dip. Uh, I've got my new dress on from Zara uh, and we're going to go and get some breakfast and have a wander because we've realised, we've looked at a map and we've actually smashed room in two days. Um, Yesterday we did all the Coliseum and the Forum and the Trevi Fountain and oh, dropping my phone and the Spanish Steps and then tomorrow we've got the Vatican. So to be honest, we and the Pantheon we did on Monday. So we've basically like ticked nearly enough everything off the list. So just gonna have a bit of a wander. But I just thought I'd show you a couple of my little bits. So Josh is here getting ready to go out. Um, this is the room by the way. I didn't really show it when we moved, when we arrived. Suitcase on there. Um, so just a couple of my prezies. Um, so what Josh basically he got us um, the trip to the Vatican tomorrow but just a few little bits to open he got me the Arctic Monkey CD um, some headphones some little rose gold headphones because mine will fall into bits and um, some underwear which I'd seen that I really wanted um, and then he also has got me I'll turn you around so I go back to the mirror. Um, he's also got us um, a trip to go and see um, the Lion King um, in the theatre when we go down to London in October. So we're already going down to watch uh, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, uh, which was for Christmas, and we will be going to see Lion King on the Sunday. So I'm really excited about that because I love Lion King, love the film. And I've never seen the show and I've been to London so many times and never seen it. So that's super, super exciting. So thanks, Josh. And then one last thing I thought I'd show you is um, I actually bought, I showed you yesterday, I bought this mascara. So I just thought I'd show you what that looks like on. I actually really, really like it. So if anyone wants a new mascara, I would recommend this Urban Decay one. Been caught out by a bit of rain. It's absolutely hammering it down. Yeah. Um, but I just thought I'd video this because I don't think people will actually believe us when we go and tell them that it's hammered it down while we've been here in the end of May. But it's all right. Just brought a new coat just in time. Literally about 20 minutes before it started raining. So lucky. I'm piss wet, but it don't matter. Never mind. So yeah, I don't know if you just heard that on the last clip because it was raining quite hard. But yeah, we're absolutely. Just went through. We've just walked through the hotel lobby and people walking out in shorts and t-shirts have just turned back around again to go and get the coats and come up to our floor and gone and got the coats and their umbrellas. Don't blame them. Um, so I just thought I'd show you um, something that I bought while we were out. So Josh got his coat but I bought a bag from Zara so I just thought I'd show you that. It's just this one, little brown like suede bag with a gold and the brown strap because I don't have a brown bag so I thought that's quite nice and I thought well I'll treat myself on my birthday. So it's got this um, main pocket in here, a little pocket in the back, and then this bit at the front is a bit confusing. Um, you open it, that is not a pocket. This is this section here. So I probably won't really use that because it's upside down, but I like this bit here. So yeah, just pick that up. For, so if anyone's given me euros for my birthday, then one of you's bought me this, so thanks. I've just been to the uh, Magnum shop where you design your own Magnum. So this morning we are off to the Vatican. Um, 
this is why we've got to wear long trousers and like long sleeves even though it's the hottest day um, since we've been here it's going to be like 26 degrees so I think we're going to roast um, so we're just going to head down and get some breakfast in the hotel um, and get him to order us a taxi because it is quite a, a fair walk away from the hotel so we don't want to be rushing to get there we'll probably walk back but we don't want to be like stressing about where we've got to be at what time um, so we're just going to go and have a nibble and then I don't know what time the tour lasts until it starts at 12 um, so depending on what time it is we'll either like, have a little bit of a mooch around maybe get some food or we'll probably come back get changed because I reckon we're going to be like, like I said boiling um, so yeah so that is the plan for today mm -hmm. 